In today's video, I show you how this Shopify store made over $1 million in just 8 minutes. So grab your popcorn and let's hop into it. Cue the tape, William. It all started back in 2017 when Marie Revere decided to start a cosmetic line called Moon Cosmetics. Within months, her store was getting hordes of orders, and by 2018, the word started to get around. By 2019, it was clear that the brand was spreading like wildfire. This is the year where she started collaborating with large Instagram influencers and utilizing the reach to share the word about her store. In this vlog she made back in December 2019, she mentioned that her store was doing 1,500 orders in just a single day, and they just couldn't keep up with production. In what was it, maybe Saturday, there was like 1,500 orders that came through between Friday and Saturday, so... And this is when I believe things became parabolic. When people can't have things, they want them even more. With her not being able to keep up with inventory, it created luxury and scarcity that hasn't been replicated in the cosmetic industry. While I don't believe it was her intention to create this genius marketing plan, How did you do it? The logistics behind scaling her business demanded for the stop of production. As you can see in this video, they're struggling to ship out orders, and orders were taking them multiple weeks to even get out. With hordes of angry customers, they had to limit the amount of products being sold, and the people who did manage to get their hands on the cosmetics became a part of this exclusive club. When the word started to get out about this exclusive product, everyone seemed to want a piece of the pie. Which posed a very serious question we must ask ourselves. Why would people want to buy a product with ingredients you can literally find at your local grocery store? That's what I wanted to figure out. So I scoured the web for searching what made this product so unique. And let me tell you, it wasn't the ingredients, it was the solution they were offering. It was clear after looking through the company's Instagram that Moon Cosmetics knew their target demographic, which I believe was a demographic that wasn't being properly catered to. And that's where they got their fighting edge. The demographic they were going after was multiracial individuals who I believe hadn't been properly represented before Marie started this ingenious company. And that's what leads us up to the million dollar launch in just 8 minutes. With their products being unable to purchase as their production capabilities were maxed out, people started to get antsy to get their hands on the product. And on March 8th, they finally decided to relaunch the website. And yep, that's when this happened. Yes, it's absolutely shocking and almost uncomprehendable that a website this simple and a product this easy to replicate was able to put up numbers that even big cosmetic brands can't repeat. So how did they actually do this and what can we do to replicate this insanely clever marketing strategy into our own Shopify businesses? It's clear that transparency is a big trend in successful e-commerce brands in 2020. People want to face to the business and that's exactly what Marie did. She put her face behind the brand proudly and consumers were able to follow the process of her brand through her vlogging and Instagram. This fostered a community that not only trusts in the brand, but in Marie. When I watched one of Marie's company's vlogs, I immediately felt like I was a part of the small brand and I felt compelled to support an underdog. While a lot of us want our e-commerce brands to stand out like professional and large companies, what if we were vulnerable with our customers and actually showed them the hardships inside of our companies transparently? This exact strategy can be seen in numerous e-commerce brands like Jeffree Star, Kylie Jenner, Josh Snow. It's not enough to have a good product anymore. The product needs personality and your customers want to grow with your brand. If you can create a community environment and share your journey with your customers, not only will they trust you more, but they'll be more inclined to support your movement. We can see how effective this was not only in Marie's amazing success story, but Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson's incredible launch that was documented from start to finish. So what else can we take away from this amazing feat from the young entrepreneur Marie? Don't be scared to enter a saturated market and don't be afraid to reinvent the wheel. If Marie would have looked at the market as a giant hurdle to overcome, she would have never been able to get a piece of the multi-billion dollar cosmetic industry. Instead, she started small and focused on customer results with eventually the word spreading about having a product that's just too good not to own. And that's when we move on to arguably the biggest takeaway from Marie's insane experience. Product is king. No matter how great your marketing is or how much ad budget you have, if you don't have a product that people share with word of mouth and rave about the experience, then you're gonna go down a slow loop of death. This loop of death is one of the most misunderstood topics in the entrepreneur community. 
Let me explain. The loop of death is where you need to keep acquiring new customers to fuel your business. Without the constant stream of new customers, your business would fail because customers simply aren't enjoying the experience of your brand. When those customers aren't satisfied, they'll make sure to let other potential customers know and as you keep acquiring new customers and the experience isn't good, the word of mouth will spread until your business becomes just another dot inside the giant world of retail. But this experience can also be the exact opposite reaction. What if every customer in your business was treated like royalty and loved your brand? They would tell their friends, and as you acquire new customers, the fire starts spreading, leaving you able to scale your business to infinite heights as the more acquisitions equals more positive notoriety. Now we can see some instances of both sides in Moon Cosmetics. Initially, they were totally product focused and the word of mouth spread to an insane degree until the company became more focused on revenue than satisfying the customers and overselling products creating over a one month order delay. As we can see on the Instagram, they literally blocked all comments on their posts and they're severely understaffed. During the vlogs of this company, you can see how out of the element this brand really is. With a dirty facility and employees blaming the customers, if they don't fix this cog in their business, the loop of death will eventually take them into the dirt. While Moon Cosmetics might be at an all-time high revenue right now, where do I actually think this brand is heading? I worry that Marie lost sight of the importance of customer experience and has become money hungry. We can see in her tweets that she wants to be a billionaire by the end of this year but I worry that she'll piss her customers off before she has a chance of making this happen. Another example of a brand who went down this exact path is Antisocial Club. Do you remember that name? This was an e-commerce business that was widely popular in 2018, and by 2020, all remains of them is gone simply due to the fact of slow orders and angry customers. I try to answer everybody as quickly as I can. I try to email back as quickly as I can. But because we're such a small um, operation, a lot of times we can kind of get spread a little thin. Marie's making the products. Sometimes I'm labeling or I'm making droppers or all these different things. I'm just trying to get you guys your product as quickly as possible. So while I wish Moon Cosmetics the best on their journey, they need to improve logistics to stand a fighting chance. The sad truth is that running a seven-figure business is world's difference from attempting to scale a business to eight or even nine figures. While scarcity was the backbone of launching our business to the riches, it could be the exact thing that kills the brand. Numerous replicas have been popping up over Instagram and for a much more desirable price. Could her brand be washed away with cheap knockoffs, or will she be able to fight the replicators? Lucky for you, you're able to experience this in third person so you don't need to go down this slippery slope. Now the last takeaway I want to share with you viewers is something even I have been guilty of. We live in a world with instant gratification, with everything available at the touch of a button, and we can see how this instant gratification loop stunts entrepreneurs from all walks of life. What if Marie didn't stick to her brand for the three years leading up to the $1 million in 8 minutes? Exactly. It would have never happened. In the e-commerce space we live in, it's sexy to launch up quick dropshipping stores that can start making revenue at day one. But what if all of us went after products we were actually interested in and we were willing to go through the hardships of overcoming large industries with longevity to them? Rather than selling lame and low quality products imported from China, what if we put love and passion into our companies making sure that customers get the experience they deserve? It sounds like a utopian society, but what if this way of selling products is actually the true key to e-commerce riches? Having experienced this firsthand and developing brands that I love, I can tell you this is the true key to all your e-commerce dreams. So I challenge you to go out and start your empire. It's never too late to start. Okay guys, so there we have it. I showed you exactly how Marie Revere was able to scale her Shopify store up to a million dollars in just eight minutes. And I know this video was quite different from the usual videos that I do post. So if you did enjoy this content, I would really appreciate any of your feedback down in the comments. And if you did enjoy it, then I'll make sure that me and my team produce more of these. But if you aren't subscribed yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy the content, then give this video a big thumbs up. We have a bunch of new videos coming, tutorials, more videos like this, and they're just gonna keep coming every single week. So make sure you have that post notification bell turned on so you'll be notified first when we do release bangers like this. So without further ado, I hope all you guys take care and have a safe day.